This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, June 28th. Stock index futures under some pressure again today. This with the lingering trade situation as an ongoing negative. Also, we did have the first quarter GDP revision coming in a bit on the weaker side, up 2%. This compares to the estimate of up 2.2%. But I'm inclined to believe that we will see a move back to higher on the day. Seems like futures performing relatively well on a variety of negative news, or I should say in spite of a variety of bearish news. So look for some recovery later today in the indices. Moving over to the currency markets, seeing the dollar index a little bit lower as the probability of a rate hike from the Fed at the September meeting falling a little bit. Also, we have the euro currency advancing on uh, news that inflation in certain regions in Germany coming in stronger than expected. Also, don't forget we did have the one-day reversal to the downside in the dollar index last week. Uh, that somewhat of a sign of weakness or an indication that the dollar may be topping at least temporarily in here. Interest rate markets underperforming the news. You would have thought that the credit markets would have been higher with GDP coming in on the weak side. That was not the case. The interest rate markets uh, a little bit lower, very much underperforming the news. So that in itself should be viewed as a sign of weakness for the credit markets today, possibly over the next week or so. Also the probability of a rate increase from the Fed at the September 26th meeting falling to 70%. Yesterday it was at 74%. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.